In late January 2019, a severe cold wave hit the Midwestern United States, bringing with it the most frigid temperatures the region had seen in over 20 years. During this cold wave, hundreds of older adults, some as old as 94, bundled up and left home to go to exercise classes at their local public libraries. A 70-year-old woman from Lacine, Kansas said, When I thought about not going, I remembered that my friends were counting on me to take them to the library classes, so I just got up and went. This is the story of Jerry Fit at the Public Library, a story about public space, aging, and small-town America. This story began in April 2018, when Francesca Fran Fisher, who founded the Jerry Fit Company in the early 1990s to increase strength among older Americans, met Dr. Noah Lindstra, assistant professor of library and information science at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, on a conference call organized by the National Institute of Aging. Fran said she was interested in making her evidence-based Jerry Fit curriculum more available in public libraries. But the librarians she had spoken with in California hadn't been able to grasp this concept, and she got a no from them. This discussion led to the idea of trying again in small-town America. Nearly every small town in America has a public library. In fact, there are more than 17,000 public libraries in the country in small towns and villages, and according to some, they are the de facto senior centers for countless older adults who rely on them for social connections as much as for reading. Fisher and Lindstra worked together to recruit 49 small and rural public libraries to participate in a 12-week study beginning in January 2019. During this time, these libraries offered Jerry Fitt's introductory level strength training video twice a week. After the study, participating librarians continue to have ongoing public performance rights to the complete Jerry Fitt catalog for their patrons. We offered each library with a beginner, intermediate, and advanced video workout that they rotated during the three months the participants were enrolled in the study. After the study concluded, to our surprise, they wanted more. They saw results and didn't want to stop. So we provided additional workout videos that had different exercises and harder routines that not only challenged them, but the variety helped keep their interest up and participation levels high. At the end of the study, 535 older adults completed a survey about their experiences. Over 75% of participants reported that their strength and well-being had improved over the course of their participation in the program. Remarkably, fully 93% of participants said their general mood had improved, suggesting the program had big impacts not only on physical health, but on mental health too. The survey asked older adults if they wanted to share any other impacts the program had on them. A 67-year-old woman from Union, Iowa said, It was a social time as well as physical exercise time. We all need each other as well as physical time for our bodies. Again and again, older adults shared stories about how the Jerry Fit at the Library program was a social event as much as an exercise class. As one 86-year-old woman from West Point, Iowa said, It was great to exercise with a group that makes you try harder each week. A 76-year-old woman from Fredericksburg, Iowa, said the classes get me out of the house and get me around people. Older adults said they lacked other spaces in their communities where they could exercise with other older adults. The classes also changed their attitudes about libraries. A 69-year-old woman from Canisota, New York, said, The classes caused me to realize that the library cares about the health of the village people. A 78-year-old woman in Oskaloosa, Iowa stated, I really enjoy seeing the library being used. I feel happy seeing my friends. A 74-year-old female, also from Oskaloosa, Iowa, said she gained strength in arms to shovel snow. <laughs> no doubt a useful skill in the winter. Given the success, over 76% of the participating libraries reported continuing to offer free Jerry Fit classes a year later, in spring 2020. That all changed during the COVID-19 pandemic, when libraries and public spaces across America were closed. Nonetheless, public librarians continued to support older adult engagement in Jerry Fit's new virtual platform. As vaccination rates among older Americans increased in spring 2021, some public libraries have returned to in-person Jerry Fit classes at the library. Kimberly Heaster, the librarian in Sundance, Wyoming, said that, During the pandemic, I gave our Jerry Fit patrons the information needed to do Jerry Fit online, and I also gave them copies of the Jerry Fit stretch chart and the exercises for fall prevention page. 
Some of my Jerry Fitters did the online workouts, some followed the sheets, and some did both. In March of 2021, we started doing Jerry Fit in the library again. Most of our patrons have received both doses of the vaccine, so they are comfortable starting to exercise in the library again. What can you do with this information? If you're a gerontologist or an aging professional, you can suggest a partnership with your library. This story would not exist were it not for the partnerships between gerontologists and librarians. Teamwork makes the dream work. If you're a librarian, seek out aging professionals. The best place to start is your regional area agency on aging. Find yours on U.S. Administration on Aging Elder Care Locator. And finally, if you're an interested citizen, you can reach out to your local library and ask them if they'd be interested in hosting exercise classes. They might say no, they might say yes, but it never hurts to ask. The most important innovations start with a conversation.